Hi, everyone. Welcome to the magic of painting. Uh, we're going to continue work on the sunset and the Blue Ridge Mountains. Mixed up a number of sky colors, as you can see here. And we're going to have some fun uh, mixing up or actually painting these back ridges. I was thinking I want to put a ridge in here just so that we finish, you know, we can have these ridge after ridge after ridge thing going on. Uh, so I'll probably put that in in the next show. Uh, but for today, we're going to be working up here in the clouds. And I want everybody to have the feeling that the clouds are closer to us than further away. So they'll be a little darker in value and uh, richer in color always remembering that there is a shadow side to the clouds, uh, probably very, very small shadow size as the sun goes down, but uh, we want some striking colors up there to really guide the eye. One thing I want to do before I get into the cloud areas is I want to make this mountain range back here just a slightly darker blue. And what I'm going to do at the top of that is come back with some light blue. And I'll pull down into it so that it feels like it is just going off into that sunset colors. And it's okay if I get a little bit down there, so it will be a big deal. don't want a ridge. I want this very flat. Just throw some up here. That way it'll also give me some white into white. You see I'm still working some wet into wet there as well. It was really interesting. I was telling you about mixing up grays on some of the previous episodes, and I turned the studio lights off and the color was so gray that in the the darkness of my studio it was gray you couldn't tell the you couldn't tell there was color there at all so um i was like well that's pretty cool okay now i'm going to go with a lighter blue along this ridge here and i'm just going to pull that up with my palette knife some up, some down, just to kind of get rid of that line. Then you can have that feeling that it's fading off into the colors that I'm going to put above it. Yeah, maybe there's some inversion going on. Not sure. Don't know. Until the effect comes out on the canvas. I'm getting rid of the edges, the final edge of that mountain range. Okay, I'm going to come in with some of this really pretty. Gonna actually make this a slight touch lighter. That was quick. And see how I'm just pulling up 
come back when and we just repeat pull up So I don't want a hard edge there at all. We talked about the different kinds of edges, or we will talk about the different kind of edges. Um, with a palette knife, you're always capable of making a hard edge. Or you want a hard edge with a palette knife. Very easy to do. But I don't want a hard edge. I want a soft edge. So I just blend the two wet areas into each other. Pulling down that yellow area there. It's kind of um, making that very soft. So it's kind of like your eyes playing a trick on you. you know, is that the ridge? Is that a ray, a sun ray coming through? What's going on? Is there another mountain back there? Some of the blue sky poking through. Who knows? But that's the interest that your viewer will have. We'll be saying, well, what's going on there? As long as the values are pretty relatively, you know, are pretty close, um, you won't have to worry too much. Just let their imagination run. You know, we have the sun rays coming down through here. Who knows? You know, when you get up and you look at the horizon up in the mountains, you really kind of just don't know sometimes if that's the edge of the mountain range or if it's going on further or you know, what the deal is. I'm mixing up just a little more of this reddish pink that I can throw down over here. And when I was mixing up, I started this color that I'm working with right now is a mixture of cadmium red and cadmium yellow deep. And then I mixed up some lizard and crimson that I'll be using as violet. It's kind of a violet color. The difference between the just adding white to a lizard and crimson and just adding white to the cadmium red, cadmium yellow deep mixture. You know, it was interesting to see how cool the alizarin was. Now, as far as texture is concerned, when I get here, see how much of a messy painter I am. When I get down to here, there'll be a lot more texture in there. As a matter of fact, I'm thinking about adding in this area here, kind of some wildflowers or azaleas, depending on if I want it to be spring or if I want it to be summer. I'm back, you can see I put some yellow in there. I'm going to put some yellow here as well. I'll just put some of that purple color in here as well. I'm going to come back and throw some of that lighter pink in there. You know, maybe that's a cloud in the back. I started painting with palette knife because I got blocked using brushes. Everything just blended too far. I, I couldn't control it. It just ended up being just way too much blending. Everything ended up being the same value, some middle value that I didn't like. And I just picked up one day palette knife and said, let's see what I can do with this. It's kind of a cross between painting and and um, sculpture, I guess, um, because I, I really do enjoy painting my palette knives and with them and mixing colors with them gently. You know, it's very, it's a lot rougher. You see, I don't know if you guys saw what happened there, but I just pulled some yellow out and got this color down. And I'm leaving that. That looks awesome. I'm going to leave that there. Um, just kind of very, very small. You probably can't see it. 
right in that area. Gonna come over and smooth it out. I don't want a lot of texture. This is just kind of atmosphere at this point. Kind of blend some things together. Not too much. Definitely want to feel that haziness of the of the atmosphere in there. I'll come back, put some pink over there. A little bit more pink here. And we'll come back and put in some clouds here in a few minutes. And there we'll work shadow into light. Remember the last time I said working dark to light's better with oils? You can always make it lighter. You can never make it darker. Well, I don't want that area there to be that dark anyway. So that's okay. So that's the two basic colors in there. I'm going to come back and mix up a warm orange red. Darker in value. Needs to be cooler. Let's throw in some ultramarine. See how I like this color up here. It's always a trial and error. Maybe a touch too dark. I'll bring it up a little. And that's going to be like at the very base. I'm trying to get it uh, away from an orange. The more I look up, the less I want that orange color there. As I'm mixing up this uh, color, I just want to remind everybody if you're enjoying the show, there's going to be a link that pops up that'll have a buy me a coffee on it. As you probably noticed, we don't have advertising. So if you want to support the show, you can certainly go over to buy me a coffee. And if you buy me a coffee, I'll give you a shout out on one of the next upcoming shows. Can't beat that, right? Okay, now I got the two colors that I wanted. So we got that orange color. I brought it down a little bit just so that you can see the difference. This is a little darker. Um, Get off the majority of that. And then I mixed up this kind of violet color here that looks still looks a little dark, but when I go mixing in some of the lighter colors into that area, that shadow area is gonna look pretty nice. You can see I'm just kind of pulling it up. And so in this area, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab just a little bit darker yellow. And just grab some of the darker colors behind it and pull it down. Same way here. And blend that in so it looks like it's in a distance. One reason why I like palette knives, I can do what I want with them. I've been painting now with them for a long time. And I just kind of lay color in and push it around. I have a few other colors here that I'm going to pull down by the, the dark area. I always kind of like that purple yellow compliment. It just, I think nature kind of likes it too. The time I go out, there's always purple and yellow flowers next to one another when I go hiking. My sun, I'm thinking, is over here off and shining. So I want a very light yellow there. back with that orange color.
golden color in here too. I'm pushing another area of the cloud back. It is a very fine line of that yellow. Okay. We'll finish putting in some of these darks, base of the clouds. And if you can hear me scraping the canvas. With my knife. I'm back with that light yellow that's in there, just kind of. Made its own little cloud there. I'm just gonna do a circular motion with my palette knife, just to soften those edges a little bit. I come in between this guy and just A little warmer color. I'm just going to drag this. Over. Ooh, kind of orange color, if you will. And pull this up with my knife. Come back with that dark. Lay that in. I want a break between those two clouds. I'm gonna throw in a little bit of this, basically a lizard and crimson with white. Down, down, pull down with the wipe, wiping of my knife in between. I 
There we go. And then we'll come back with the white. So you can tell this is getting kind of thick in the cloud areas, and that's okay, that's what I want. I want it thick, I want it textured. Yeah, very much like icing a cake when you're using palette knives. If for the cover behind them, I'm going to kind of throw in this violet color. As I get more towards the center, you know, I'll come back, I'll throw some Some light blue in there. In different places. Let the two play off of one another. And it's me and my my purples and yellows. So the reason why I wear gloves is because I'm a messy painter. And because I'm a messy painter, I also have my nails. I have uh, manis done, manipet manicures. And I have a paint on my nails. And I don't want the paint to get caught between various crevices there along the edge of my nail make sure that I don't do that. So I wear gloves because of that. Throw in some of that light blue. Pull it down. And things like that you need to worry about. What I'm worried about or what I'm looking at is basically what's pleasing to the eye. Again, I'm just playing with shapes. I know my values are very close to where I want them to be. Got some redundancy going on that I don't like. So I'm making a shape change. And I'll come back at some point when I'm looking at the finishing touches for the painting and decide if I like where everything is with it and maybe make some changes, add some additional layers, who knows? Depends on what I feel like at the time. But as we're getting closer to where the sun is off of the canvas, I'm going to go more into that blue, that light blue color. It's a little warmer than this violet color. I'm going to pull the violet color down into the painting. And I'll come back with the blue. Pull it down as well. Or up. I may go up with this. So the value underneath this is a, a gray, light gray. So if I don't get every area of the canvas colored, it, it's going to kind of blend in. I'm 
You can see he's doing a little circular stroke there, letting the knife get cut or captured by the, the wet paint, pull off what it wants to pull off. Back here in Don't want to overwork these guys too much. You want to put in this lighter color. Just stepping back and taking a look at this. Here, I'm gonna see what this kind of bluish color does. And don't like it. <laughs> Shouldn't be surprised, right? But we may have a pretty interesting effect that's gonna happen here. I kind of feel like maybe some clouds in the back, maybe another ridge or two. We're just kind of pulling that down and into one another. Over here, I'm going to take this and pull straight down. Could be another ridge. And back in the distance there is another little cloud bank that I had. I'm just going to put a little bit of blue in there, dark blue, kind of cold blue. I'm going to come back with that orange color. These guys are going to be very soft edged. Drop them in. I'm going to pull up with the edge of my knife. And I'm going to go across. So it's very soft edged. Cloud bank in the distance. Come back with some of that really light orange. Just kind of touch it here and there. Pull across the canvas. All right, so that's it for the magic of painting and messing with clouds in the sky. We'll let this sit for a while. Um, I may come back and Add an even lighter color as we go along. But what I want to do right now, or the next time we come in, is I'll start working on this area here. And uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.